Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial we are going to be making this glitter spooky little ghost with an offset. I don't know really what to call it but these glitters make this design absolutely beautiful and first I'm going to show you this entire pack from PDB Creative Studio. Some of you may have saw my past tutorials featuring the glitter packs from PDB Creative Studio. This one is glitter pack number 60. Small businesses that use PDB Creative Studio were given the opportunity to create a glitter mix on their own, and these five were the ones that were chosen, and they do not disappoint. This first one is Frosé All Day by Sparkle and Skein. I hope I hope I didn't butcher that. <laughs> Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, this is beautiful. It is a smaller cut multi-size mix. I can see myself using this under lots of peekaboo designs. The second one is Stargazer by Simply by Brie. You've got your blues, purples, silvers, black. I mean, this puts off so many different colors and I immediately thought of a nighttime mountain scene with this in the backdrop and some little white stars over top of it. Just amazing color with so much depth. So the next one is Cabernet by D. Morgan. Y'all know that I love my simple and deep colored glitters and this right here just speaks to me. This is a multi-size and multi-shape mix. There's also some holographic stars in there that really make this a unique color. Next up, we have Mimosa by Just Carrie J. This may just look like a peachy multi-size mix. However, it is an opal, so this is one of the most versatile glitters from the pack. You can put it over any color. It will reflect some of that color underneath and have that beautiful multicolor opal sparkle. And last but most certainly not least, we have Moonchild by Stuff by Steph. I honestly don't even have words to describe this glitter other than look at that multicolor, multi-size, and the depth that this has. Out of all the glitter packs, including my own, I don't think I have been wowed as much as I was when I opened these glitters. So if you were watching, incredible job ladies. These are beautiful, beautiful mixes. So let's get started making a tumbler with them. I'm going to use some of my Colorflex Color Fix paint. I'm just using black and brushing this over a 32 ounce plump from the Steel Magnolia, getting nice and even coverage using a all over makeup brush. I only did one coat of paint. I had really good coverage on that first coat and moved right into adding epoxy to the tumbler. We are going to use the epoxy method to apply our glitter. I'm going to do sort of like a little burst of glitter everywhere. We're using about two milliliters on this 32 ounce tumbler because I want it to be slightly thicker, just slightly, so that I can really build up that coverage and help my glitters blend into each other a little bit better. Since we're not doing an ombre, we're doing spots of the different colors of glitter. The only one that we are not using on this base is Mimosa, and that's because I wanted to save that one since it is an opal to add in to one of my layers of epoxy and layer that glitter up like Vanessa Davis at VMD Designs. <laughs> Seriously, that woman is so talented. Okay, so I am just going through and obviously just doing little spots of the glitter. I'm going heavier in the center of the spots and then just sprinkling it the rest of the way around. And then I'm gonna go in with my other colors and do the same thing until I have built up enough coverage to cover the entire base. Now, while we are applying these glitters, let's talk about how you can get your hands on one of these packs at a discounted price. There's a couple of different ways. You can be a subscriber, and of course, that will automatically be sent to you. I do have all of those details below if you want to hop on that subscription wait list, or 
the packs are released for purchase on the Thursday of the second full week of every month. Now, both of those are options where you can get this all together, all five glitters at a discounted price. However, they are typically released individually on the PDB Creative Studio website at full price. And at the time of this tutorial, these have actually been released to the public. So if you did not get your hands on these five glitters through the subscription pack or grabbing a pack whenever they were originally released, run and grab them. I have the website linked down below in the description as well as a coupon code so you can still save a little bit on getting these glitters. After I finished building up that glitter coverage, I grabbed a sheet of notebook paper or printer paper. You can also use parchment paper and just rolled this cup up and flattened that glitter out so I can minimize the amount of epoxy I have to use in my coats to get this smooth. Apply epoxy until your tumbler is smooth and let's move into making our decals. So I found this offset file of these cute little ghosts on Etsy. I will have that link down below for y'all. And in Design Space, the very first thing that you're going to want to do to this is ungroup them in the top right corner. And then I highlighted all of my little offsets down at the bottom and went ahead and attached them again so they would all be in this one little strip, easy to cut. I deleted the extra little ghost, moved the bats and the stars out of the way, and then we could resize our little ghost. So first thing that I did was highlight all of those ghosts and attach them so I can resize it all together. I pulled that shape back up and resized it to the dimensions of my tumbler for a 32 ounce plump from the Steel Magnolia that was 9.45 inches wide by 10 inches high. I had to move all of those little elements out of the way again and zoomed out so you could see, but I pulled my little ghost over my shape, unlocked the dimensions so that I could stretch these out. These little ghosts do not overlap each other or they don't go like in between. So we want to make sure that we're also given space in between our first and last ghost. In order to do that, I'm going to create a little spacer by just adding a shape, unlocking the dimensions, and then stretching that out in between one row to the next. And then I'm going to pull it over to the edge of our shape and then resize our little ghost to fit up to that spacer. So when we wrap this around our tumbler, we're going to have the exact same amount of space in between our last and our first at the seam of our wrap. Since we made the ghost larger, we're also going to need to make our bats, our stars, and our offsets a little bit larger so that they are proportionate to our ghost.
Once I had everything resized, I removed that shape that we had, highlighted everything, and just made it the same color so that they would all cut on the same mats. Now, I did say that I wanted to add the mimosa glitter into one of the coats of a boxy on top of the glitter. However, I forgot because it only took one coat of epoxy to completely cover all of this glitter up. So I will show you how to add that in after the fact. We're using this really cute shimmer vinyl from Tech Wrap Craft. I am just going to put a sheet of transfer tape over the entire thing so we can apply it just as if we were applying a vinyl wrap. I cut off a little slither of the backing so it would expose some of the sticky of the transfer tape so we can use the hinge method to apply this. I measured the top of the two ghosts to make sure that they were the same distance away from the top so our wrap would not be crooked. And since this is a thicker vinyl and it has that matte sparkle on top, it is a little difficult to remove from our transfer tape backing. So I just flipped it around after I got that initial one or the little exposed piece of transfer tape off and rolled my tumbler onto the sheet of ghost. That helped a tremendous amount, got them on nice and easy. I made sure they were pressed down really well and straight up and down by just standing the tumbler up and removed that transfer tape. Now, really at this point, I should have did a thin coat of epoxy on top of our little ghost before I added on an offset. You can see just a tiny bit of where they overlap, and I don't really like that. So next time, if I, if I remade this tumbler, I would have did a coat of epoxy and then added on our offsets. But I just went to the right side of each one of these little ghosts and added on our holographic offset. This is also from Tech Wrap Craft. They have a holographic starter pack. It has tons of different colors of the holographic vinyl. It's really thin, super easy to work with, and I love having just a pack of holographic vinyl instead of a bunch of rolls laying around. And they come in these really nice 12 by 12 little folders. So once you trim off your vinyl that you need for whatever project you're working on, you can just drop it down back in there and everything is organized with a little sticker on the front. So you also do not end up with a giant pile of unorganized scraps. <laughs> After we get our little offsets put on, we're gonna add on our bats and our stars. Um, these are just on alternating rows. I did three bats where there were two ghosts and two stars where there were three ghosts.
we have lots of vinyl and holographic going on here. So I'm gonna take some quick seal from Artistry, seal in all of these decals so that when I add my epoxy on, I'm not gonna chance any of that lifting. And here is where we're going to add in our mimosa. Since we are using quick seal, it does dry really fast, so you do need to work quickly if you're adding glitter into it. But it doesn't work like epoxy. It's sort of like a sticky polyurethane substance. So wherever you sprinkle your glitter on, it's gonna stay. I rubbed it in so that when I add on my epoxy, my epoxy is not going to cause my glitter to move around. After I added on our mimosa glitter to all of that negative space that was in between our ghost stars and bats, I allowed that to dry for about an hour and then added on my two final layers of epoxy. And here is our final result. I am so in love with this tumbler. It is just God, these glitters are so gorgeous. I cannot wait to use them for so many more projects. The vinyl just complements the glitter, but it definitely it does not take away from the glitter. So obsessed is an understatement. Don't forget, all these glitters have been released on the PDB Creative Studio website. I have that link below with a coupon code for y'all. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell in the corner to be notified anytime new tutorial drops. Thank you all so much and we will see you next time.